Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Malware is any type of software program designed to harm or exploit computer systems or device. Malware can take many forms, including viruses, ransomware, spyware, and any types of malicious software. Today, I will talk about five more different types of malware. Root kits, keyloggers, logic bombs, adware, and botnet. Root kit. Root kit is a type of malicious software that is designed to gain access to a computer system. The term root kit is derived from the fact that the software is typically installed at the root level of the system, which provides it with a complete control over the entire system. They are often installed through a variety of means, including exploiting vulnerabilities in software, social engineering tactics, or by being bundled with other software downloads. Once a root kit is installed on a system, it can be very difficult to detect and remove. This is because the root kit is designed to hide from the operating system and other security software, which allows them to bypass security measures and remain undetected. Some root kits are capable of modifying the operating system itself. Root kit can be very dangerous and can cause a variety of problems, including data theft, system crashes, and network intrusions. To protect against root kits, it's important to practice safe computing habits, such as avoiding suspicious downloads and keeping software patched and updated. Keylogger. A keylogger is a type of a software or hardware device that is designed to record every keystroke made on a computer or mobile device. This can include sensitive information such as username, passwords, credit card numbers, and other confidential data. They can be installed on a computer or device through a variety of means just like other malware, including malicious email attachments, software downloads, file downloads, or physical installation by attacker. I want to emphasize an important matter, exercises caution when using a public computer. Take a moment to verify whether there's a USB type of flash drive connected to a machine. Keyloggers have a potential to capture and retrieve all the information you input. Keyloggers are often used for malicious purposes, such as stealing personal info or monitoring users' activities without their knowledge. To protect, against keyloggers, it's important to use up-to-date security software and practice safe computing habits, such as avoiding suspicious downloads. It's also a good idea to be cautious when using public computers or accessing sensitive information over public networks, as these are common targets for hackers or attackers. Logic bombs. A logic bomb is a type of malicious code that is designed to execute a specific action when certain conditions are met. The code is typically hidden within legitimate software or script. The simplest type of logic bomb is a time bomb. Once a logic bomb is triggered, it can cause a lot of problems such as deleting or corrupting data, disrupting network operations, or carrying out other malicious activities. Logic bombs 
are often installed on a system by a trusted insider, such as employee or contractor, who has access to the sensitive information or systems. One common use of a logic bomb is to carry out an act of revenge against the employer. For example, a system manager or admin who is angry about being fired might install a logic bomb that will delete information or disrupt network operations at a later time. This happened in the past. Another use of a logic bomb is cyber espionage. The logic bomb can be triggered at a later time when certain conditions are met, giving the attacker a backdoor to get information or carry out other malicious activities. To protect against logic bombs, it's important to implement strict access controls and monitoring for sensitive systems and data. It's also important to be vigilant for any suspicious activity or behavior by insiders who might be motivated to carry out act of revenge or cyber espionage. Certain companies grant some employees a vacation. The reason is not being nice but giving the company time to conduct investigations and forensic analysis on the employees' systems, devices, and network activities just to prevent something like logic bombs. Adware Adware, short for Advertising Supported Software, is a type of special malware that displays advertising on a user's computer or mobile device. Adware can come in many different forms, such as pops up, banners, or other types of advertising. The main purpose of Adware is to generate revenue for its developers by displaying advertisements to users. While some Adware is legitimate and harmless, other forms of Adware can be potentially malicious and harm your device by slowing down, hijacking your browser, and possibly installing viruses or spyware, and possibly installing virus and or spyware. To sum it up, Adware can be good, bad, and ugly. Botnet. A botnet is a collection of internet-connected devices that has been infected with malware and are under the control of a single attacker, known as botmaster. The devices in a botnet, known as bots or zombies, are typically compromised without the knowledge or consent of their owners and can be used to carry out a variety of malicious activities. Botnets are typically created by infecting devices with malware, such as Trojan horse or virus, and through variety of means including phishing email, software downloads, or exploiting vulnerability in software or operating systems. Once infected, the devices become part of a botnet and it can be controlled remotely by a bot master. Botnets can be used for a variety of purposes, including carry out distributed denial of service or DDoS attacks, sending spam emails, stealing sensitive information, and carry out other types of cyber attacks. Because botnets are made up of many individual devices, and they can be very difficult to detect and shut down. To protect against the botnets, it's important to use up-to-date security software and keep all the software or 
and operating system patched and updated to prevent vulnerabilities could be exploited by botnets and other types of malware. Users should also be cautious when never opening a email attachments or clicking on links from unknown sources. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time.